All right, I'm sharing information here concerning 1 Corinthians 10, 27. So basically, I'm led to believe that the majority of this verse here are mistranslated. So I'm going to share some corrected options, but I'm going to first start with an incorrect rendering up top using King James and Strong's numbers. So let me get started and read here. All right, if any of them that believe not bid you to a feast and you be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, eat asking no question for conscience sake. So that's saying you can eat whatever you want. All right, so here we go. Oh, one more thing here. This is where the problem begins. Basically, asking question is one word, okay? They split it up and add an extra Strong's number. So the word no or nothing goes in front of it. That's where the problem begins. So corrected rendering would be, whatsoever is set before you, eat nothing asking questions for conscience sake. Here you go. Here we go. I have a correct and option, Bible Hub Greek into Lanier. So here we go. I'm going to read it starting right there. If anyone invites you of the unbelieving and you wish to go, everything being set before you, eat nothing, inquiring on account of conscience. So basically examine a question with being set before you. Was this offered in an idol's temple? As the next verse says, if it has, don't eat it. So there we go. And you can see there they didn't add an extra Strong's number for the G350 here. Alright, just sharing that. All right, this right here is repeat from a correct option from above, what I just read. I just made it easier for you to read. This right here is my rendering. I just basically add the full meaning of that word for inquiring, ask questions, investigate, examine. What's set before you before you're going to eat? I'm going to show you what that word here means per the Strong's. This right here on the Strong's there is G350, that one here. Definition says, to examine, investigate, usage, I examine, inquire into, investigate, question. So there you go. On that one, all right, right here is uh, Greek correct order. So basically, I put this here so you can decide if you want to line this up and see if they're in the correct order, if there's more added grammar or not. This is the Greek correct order right there, okay? Try to put the Strong's numbers here. Couldn't add that one. Couldn't fit it in there. But there you go. This is the correct Greek order. So you can match it up with this right here if you want. Basically, this is a offer by Blue Letter Bible. This is your typical King James reverse into the layer. This is what you use the majority of the time. So as I was sharing earlier, let me enhance it, okay? Uh, basically, what I did here is I marked out the word no or nothing. I put it in front where it belongs, okay? Because as I was sharing earlier, what they did, they put... You know, what they did is they took asking questions, they split it, you can see here, right? Basically adding an extra strong number, G350 there, right? So it changes the text, changes the meaning. So the correct meaning would be, whatsoever is set before it, eat nothing, asking questions for conscience sake. So again, they split it and made two words there, right? Same thing as I said at top. Okay, this is another blue letter Bible, Greek, into Lanier. And uh, basically, this is pretty good. The only thing I did here was at the very bottom here is that uh, they had the word no, so I marked it out because that doesn't make any sense. So whatever is set before you eat no questions for sake of conscience. So I put nothing there, which would be whatever is set before you eat nothing, asking questions for sake of conscience, right? And I pretty much show you how that word is rendering here, okay? All right, I have some other, other corrected options here. This is offered by Interlinear Greek New Testament. Let's read it right there. But if anyone invite you of the unbelieving, and ye wish to go, all that is set before you, eat nothing, inquiring on account of conscience. All right, question, examine what's being set before you. This is a polygot Bible Greek. And let's read that one. If anyone invite you of the unbelieving ones, and you want to go, all being placed near you, eat of nothing, questioning on account of conscience. There you go. This is offered by Berean Interlinear Bible. This is correct, too. This is the correct option. And remember, I'll put this in the link in the bottom so you can read this stuff on your own and match it up if you want to question and test it. Here's a Young's Literal Translation. I'm going to read this one here. And if anyone of the unbelieving do call you and you wish to go, all that is set before you, eat nothing, inquiring because of conscience. There's another corrected option there. 
And here's another one here. I'm not going to read this one here, but this is just another option. It's a Greek parallel. And I just put this up top, and you can match it up. It's also pretty much saying the same thing as a corrected option. Okay. Right here, I just snapshot a bunch of uh, incorrect renderings. And uh, here, I'm going to read like two of them right here. Here we go, right here, NIV. If an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you want to go eat whatever is put before you without raising questions of conscience. All right, here's another one. If someone who isn't a believer asks you home for dinner, accept the invitation if you want to, if you want to eat whatever is offered to you without raising questions of conscience. So all those are pretty much telling you you can eat whatever you want, don't question what's set before you. But the, like I said, the problem is, is the added Strong's number, right? The added grammar, splitting the word and changing the meaning of the text. That's where the problem is. So those are right there. And this is just repeat again concerning, I'm using the Blue Letter Bible, snapshot. It's the typical King Jane reverse into linear, right? I'm just showing you here where I put flip the words, right? Plus add additional strong genre, G350. So G350, they added another one right there, putting it in front of the word nothing, right? So that's basically it. And I'm just going to tell you thank you and shalom.